Ready to go to Florida? Yeah. We're on our way. We're at Durban Farms right now. So, what did you get? A frozen sweet tea. <laughs> you got a frozen <laughs> sweet tea? Mm-hmm. Is it good? It's interesting. Never heard of one before. So we were like, let's get it. I got a uh, peach ice cream cone. Kind of. It's my tradition. Eat my ice cream. What wives do? They eat ice cream. They eat their husband's ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> Got a gift to you. Kind of hard to see. Yeah, if I click on it. Like. We're here. Yay! It's our condo. Look at this view. You like the view? There we go. We are really high up. We're in the 24th floor. Scare you? You don't like being that high up? I'm good with being closer to the ground. This is so weird. How is it? Good. Yay! Hello everybody! We are now in Destin. We're in Panama City Beach and now we're in Destin for the rest of our vacation and we're about to head to the beach. Ready for some Greek food? Hey guys, it is Sunday and it's our last full day on vacation, but we are heading to church right now. Um, we're going to a Calvary Baptist Church, which is funny because that's the name of our church, but we're going to a Calvary Baptist Church in Fort Walton, and then we're going to go to Red Lobster after church for lunch, um, and then we'll just kind of chill out the rest of the day. So. That's our plan. We're heading to church right now. We're driving into a storm right now on our way to church this morning. And I don't know if you can see in that mirror, but it is like behind us. It's like perfectly clear. And then this is what we're going into. So 
so it is a couple days later. The last, like the first section of the vlog that you guys just watched was our vacation to Florida. Um, so we went to, just to recap, we went to Panama City Beach for the first three days and we spent that part of the vacation with my sister and her husband. Um, and then the second part of our trip was to Destin. And so I think we might have split it up and mentioned it um, like when we went from place to place, but um, that was just a recap and it was a lot of fun. We came back on Memorial Day. Um, so this is later this week now. Today is June 2nd and today is our anniversary. So I kind of thought that we didn't really vlog that much on our vacation. So I kind of thought that it would be nice to vlog um, to combine a couple different things together because there's a lot that has been happening. The rest of this vlog is going to be um, me getting ready to surprise Steven for our anniversary. He probably knows that something's up because I asked him today if I could keep the Pontiac and we, we just recently got a new car. I was like, hey, can you keep the, can you take the Rover today and I can um, keep the Pontiac, that way I can go run some errands and I didn't tell him what errands I ran. But I'm about to show you all the things that I got because it's gonna be, um, it's all related to tonight. I'm gonna make a nice dinner for him. It's not gonna be anything like huge surprise, but it's just gonna be, it's already, I mean, he already knows what we're having for dinner, but I'm just gonna set it up and make it look nice and get all fancy and, you know, surprise him with at least a fancy dinner. So um, let me show you what I got from the store. So here's what I got. My first stop, I went to Hobby Lobby and I just got some nice stuff to decorate with. So I got some flower petals to kind of throw on the floor. I also got a tablecloth and then I got a card for him at Hobby Lobby. Since Hobby Lobby and Piper and Leaf are in the same shopping center, I went ahead and stopped and got Piper and Leaf. I got myself a strawberry shindig sweet tea. But their sweet tea, guys, is so good. I'm so obsessed with their tea. Um, and then I got for Steven a boba, which I'm gonna put in the fridge um, because he's not gonna get back till much later today. And we're going to have like a Mexican food tonight. So I decided to go ahead and get some queso. We love queso and chips. So got some queso with some chips. And then I got a cheesecake for dessert after our meal. So I'll keep you updated and I definitely want to record Steven's reaction when he comes home and see what he thinks about like the setup and stuff. So I may film a little bit more throughout the day or I may just, you, the next thing you may see is his reaction. So I don't know, but you'll find out in a little bit, I guess. All right, I'll see you guys later. All right, so I am back and it is 3.55 and I ended up having to scramble a lot because I was expecting Stephen to leave at like 4, which would get him home around 4.30 or so. Um, but he texted me at like 3 something, like close to 3 o'clock, like 3.15 maybe. And he's like, I'm about to leave. And I'm like, crap, no, 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 no. Because I was, I was working on cleaning some stuff at first. And I was like, you know, I'll start baking around 4. I'll start getting things ready around 4. And that'll be, you know, that should give, him, give some time for him to get here. And the, oh, I need to get stuff out. Hang on, just a second. I just got cheese on my oven mitt. All right, so he's still like at least 15 minutes away right now and I have dinner like basically ready at this point. So I'm just gonna put um, aluminum foil over the, this iPad is like, it's really hard to film with this iPad. But um, I'm gonna put aluminum foil over the top of the food, of the pan or whatever, and then I'm going to just let it sit until he's like just a couple minutes away, and then I'll cut it up, and um, I guess I should probably show you what uh, I made though before I put, uh, cover it. All right, so this is our little Mexican pie thing that we made, except it doesn't have ground beef. Instead, we started using a lot of things like um, black beans to um, kind of substitute as a ground beef alternative, and it's actually really good. And here's my setup. I've got the roses around the table and I've got a set of chips. I'm gonna put the queso in there. The only thing I haven't been able to do yet is open the stupid jar of queso, which I'm gonna have to wait until Steven gets here. He's gonna have to open it for me because I cannot open it. Um, I got the plates set up and my goal is to get the plates like actually 
done. Like I'm going to put the food on the plate and get everything ready to go literally. So that way, um, it's completely ready when he gets here. And then I did this and made a little trail of rose petals from the door. Oh yeah. I need to tell him, I guess, to come through the front door because otherwise that is pointless. So I'll need to remember to do that, but that is the plan for tonight. All right, so Steven is like at this point less than like a minute away, I think. He's like super close. He's on the road that we um, live off of. And I'm gonna show you like the final, final touches before, and then I'm gonna show you his reaction like walking through the door. So let's show you that. So here are our plates. We've got our um, little Mexican pie slices with tomatoes, lettuce, sour cream, got some tea. And again, I'm gonna have to have him help me open the chips and queso. And then we got some relaxing jazz music going on over there. And it's gonna be just such a nice, relaxing evening. I'm super excited to see his reaction. So um, like I said, I think he's gonna be here like any second. So I better go ahead and go start filming his reaction. I'm waiting. At least I assume he hasn't pulled into the driveway yet. That'd be funny if he came right around the corner. Maybe he has. He did. He did. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Dinner's already. Let's see that. 